Havana by Camila Cabello. The song has three chords and a really fun and somewhat challenging strum. So let's start by learning the three chords in this song. First we have G minor and then we have E flat. You're just going to move your middle finger over one fret here and then Move your ring finger down and you're going to move to your bar D7. If you haven't barred a chord before, essentially you're just going to take your index finger, lay it entirely across the second fret, and then I like to stack my middle finger on top. So just put your middle finger right on top. It makes it a stronger bar because you can squeeze against your thumb in the back. Yeah? That's your bar D7. One more time, G minor. Move your middle finger over, E flat, and then ring finger down, bar D7. Great, just those three chords for the entire song. Remember that you can download a chord chart so that you can follow along. I'll include a link for the chord chart here. So let's play through the chorus of Havana just on single strums so that we can practice those chords and the chord changes. So singing the chorus, just one strum per chord that you see on the chord chart. All right, ready? G minor, we go. Havana, una, na, to the D7. Half of my heart is in Havana, una, na. He took me back to East Atlanta, na, na, na. All of my heart is in Havana. My heart is in Havana. Okay? The whole song is just those three chords moving over and over. So if you're more of a beginner, you can just focus on learning those chords, getting those chord transitions, and you can just play the whole song with down strums if you want. Yeah? If you're feeling like you're up for a challenge, then let's learn the strum that goes along with it. So the strum has a chuck in it. If you don't know how to chuck yet, I'm gonna show you quickly how to do it, but I do have a full length tutorial on how to chuck and uh, I'll share some links for other tutorials where you can practice chucking like The Lion Sleeps Tonight and Riptide. So let's go to our G minor. Essentially what you do with a chuck is you strum and then you use the side of your hand here to mute the strings. So push the strings into the fretboard. So you go strum mute, strum mute. And you go so fast that you get a a little chuck sound, okay? So keep practicing that. If you're more of a beginner, just fake it till you make it and do your mute and practice your checking separately, yeah? Okay, now the full strum sounds like this. I'm gonna talk you through it and don't worry, we're gonna break it down because it is pretty complicated. So it goes G minor, chuck, 
and then E flat, up, down, up, chuck, and then up D7, and then up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. People love it when I say up, chuck, yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna play the whole thing through. Now we're going to break it down into the different parts, yeah? So on G minor, you're going down, chuck. So let's practice that G minor. Down, chuck. One more time. Down, chuck. Now on the E flat, you're going up, down, up, chuck. Okay? Together, let's do up, down, up, chuck. One more time. Up, down, up, chuck. Now let's go to our D7. Okay, you go up, and then up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, and then another up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So the full D7 goes up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. Let's do that one more time on D7. We go up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. Okay, now we put it all together. But we're going to put it up, put it together in parts, okay? So you're just going to go the G minor part into the first strum of the E flat, which is an up strum, which is totally weird for ukulele to get used to strumming up first, but we're gonna practice here. So G minor, you're gonna go down, chuck, and then just the up strum. Move your finger over for E flat, up on E flat. All right, let's do just that much. Ready, G minor, we go down, chuck, up, E flat. One more time, and down, chuck, up, E flat. Back to G minor, and down, chuck, up, E flat, okay? So now let's try to take it through to the up, down, up, chuck, all the way through the E flat. So we go G minor, down, chuck, E flat, up, down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, okay? Now let's try to do it more in time. G minor, and down, chuck, up, down, up, chuck. Okay, it's fast. Ready? G minor to the E flat. And down, E flat. Okay, one more time. G minor to the E flat. And down, chuck, up, down, up, chuck. All right. Remember that in YouTube, if you go to the lower right corner, you can hit the gear icon and play back this video at three quarter speed or half speed so that you can practice at the speed that you need. I always encourage practicing slowly. So if you need to at home, you go down, chuck, move to the E flat, up, down, up, chuck. Yeah, walk yourself through slowly so that your brain can connect to your fingers, yeah? Okay, now let's take it through to the first up strum on the D7. So G minor, we go down, chuck to the E flat. Up, down, up, chuck to the up on the D7. Okay, let's try that all through, trying to keep it in time. Three, four, G minor, E flat. Up, down, up to the D7. It's fast, one more time. Two, three, Four, G minor, chuck E flat, up, down, up, chuck D7. Okay, if you can get through that much, then to finish it, you just add those up, chuck ups, okay? So let's go all the way through, ready? To the end, three, four, G minor, chuck E flat, up, down, up, chuck D7, up, up, chuck up, up, chuck up. Let's turn that around a couple of times, nice and slow, but trying to keep in time. We'll go two, three, four, G minor, chuck E flat, up, down, up, chuck D7, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, right back into it. G minor, chuck, up, down, up, chuck D7, up, chuck, up, okay? Even slower, walking through it, G minor, chuck, E flat, up, down, up, chuck, D7, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. All right, walk yourself through slow. If you feel like you've got it, let's wrap up here by playing the chorus of Havana. We'll sing it nice and slow, but see if you can keep up. If you're more of a beginner, then just play your down strums, work on your chord transitions, yeah? Here we go, ready? Two, three, four. Havana, una, 
Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, subscribe, comment. Today I am playing my new Cynthia Lynn signature ukulele. Check it out, that's my signature right there. I've designed this ukulele with Ohana ukuleles to be a really great beginner ukulele. It's got um, some upgraded strings and a pretty floral inlay uh, with uh, laminate mahogany wood. If you're interested, check it out. I think you'll enjoy playing it. Pick it up for your favorite beginner ukulele student. So thanks so much for joining me today. Happy practicing. Remember, five minutes a day. It's good for your brain and it's good for your soul. Ciao, everyone. I knew